Hi, my name is Eric Farkas. And I'm Josh. And today what we're going to be doing in this webcam is I'm going to be showing Josh the basics of the violin. So starting out, we're going to start with the different parts of the violin. So up here at the top, we have the scroll, kind of named for how it's shaped, kind of like how it scrolls when it's rolled up. And these are the pegs, just like you'd see on a guitar. And right in here is the peg box. All the strings are, att are attached up here. And this part stretches down kind of like a neck on your body is called the neck for that very reason and then this part with all the strings where you put your fingers is called the fingerboard and there are four different strings on the violin and they all have a different note this note is E and is connected to the first peg this note is A and is connected to the second peg this note is D it's connected to the third peg up here and this is your G which is connected to the fourth peg down here. And this part of the violin is known as the upper bout. This part is known as the C bout for its C shape. This is called the F hole because of its shape. It kind of, if you look at it, it kind of looks like an F. And inside here, you have the sound post. And what that does is when you strike strike the strings on the violin, it causes the sound inside the violin to resonate. This part is known as the bridge. It holds up all your strings and it has to be completely parallel with your strings. It cannot be lopsided. It can actually fall off. These are, this is known as your fine tuner. This violin unfortunately only has one. And what it does is if you can't tune it exactly to the actual pitch, these will help you get a little closer to it. This is known as your tailpiece. This is your chin rest where you put your chin on when it's on your shoulder. And this part here is known as your end button. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to test your knowledge a little bit on what I've taught you. Where is the scroll? Scroll. It's here. Alright, and where is the C-bout? The C-bout. Okay, and where is the sound post? The sound post is... Is it inside? Yes, it's inside the F-bout. Okay. Alright. You're a good learner. Thank you. I'm a good learner. I guess I... Guess I and the next part, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you the basics on how to hold the violin. So basically, to start out, honestly, if you just want to hold out the violin, put your hand like this, grasp it, turn it up, and then just bring it up to your shoulder and put your chin down. Basically, what you're going to want to get to eventually, the more you practice, is you want to be able to take your hand off and just hold it in position. Mm. Obviously, for this purpose, we're not going to have to do that because this is a very expensive instrument. So we just try that for me. Right, like that. Yeah. So I have a really good grip on it. Just turn it over. And kind of get the shoulder rest to kind of just lay on your shoulder. Okay. Like that. Like this. Yeah, it's good. Kind of bring your head up a little bit though. Kind of just make sure your chin kind of is like on the base of the chin rest. Okay. Good. Now put your finger, put your hand up here like you would actually be holding. All right. Good. All right. And the last thing we're going to talk about is how to hold your bow. Mm. Now you have to be really flexible with your fingers to hold your bow because obviously when playing violin, your bow is your most important yeah. is, is your most important aspect of, of your instrument. So for this exercise, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is put just put your hand out like this. Now curve your fingers down and hold your thumb out. And this is all I want you to do. Just go like this. As, up as high as you can. Alright. Bring it back down. Have your hand up. Completely up. And just bend your fingers down. It's, it's going to be a little tricky. It's, kinda, it's hard. It's going to take some practice. And bring your fingers up. As high as you can. Bring it back down. I was, I'm, I'm working it. This is one of those things that is just going to take some practice, all right? And then for more advanced on actually how to hold it, here's what you're going to do. Put your hand out again, and then kind of do it like this, kind of like the Buddhist. Hmm. Like, with, oh, with this finger. Yeah, with your yeah. ring finger, your middle finger, right. and your thumb. Bring it together, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil, or in your case, your magic marker and just hold it and then what you're going to take your pinky and kind of put it on the edge like this 
Bring your thumb, your ring finger down. Like that? Yeah, and then curve your first knuckle on your pointer around your pen. All right. Now what you want to do with this, same thing, just bring your hand up. Oof. No, not your hand. Oh. Sorry, not your hand, just your fingers. Just bring your fingers up, kind of like this. Everything's, you're going to want everything to bend. All your fingers are going to be bent. Your thumb and your ring finger, your thumb and your middle finger should st still be holding okay. together, and you don't want the pen to roll. Okay. So bring it up, bring your fingers up, and bring them down. Must bring it down. All right, Eric, this is really hard. Yeah, it's really hard. It's going to take some practice. So the more you practice, the more you get used to it, and then it's going to be more comfortable when you're holding the bow because that way you have more mobility in your fingers. Okay. And that has been our, our basic violin instruction list for the day. It's going to take a lot of practice to master this. Yes, it will. And I know you'll be very successful. Thank you.